Wait. What? You see that? What's on? Is that noise? Here. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Yo. The Milky Way's noisy. That's... What? Whoa. Okay. I was wrong. My Milky Way's noisy. <laughs> Anyway, let's get into this thing. What I really wanted to check out was uh, this module, SCAN. So I recently went on this little hunt looking for a wavetable style oscillator and I stayed away from the Stilson hammer when I really should have just gone for it because it's incredible. I just wasn't too familiar with the uh, Russian writing and all that stuff. Similar to make noise stuff, at the end of the day, I kind of just want to use it and it's a little cryptic. So that's kind of how I felt about the Harvestman uh, Stilson hammer, but you know, me and my ignorance, I could have, I could be missing out on an incredible module. So long story short, I got to borrow a Waldorf wave shortly. You know who you are. Thank you. And um, it was incredible and massive. It's a dinosaur of a synthesizer. It hung off of this table probably by like a foot on each side and maybe like half a foot <laughs> this way. And they really made me appreciate Peak and Summit. And then I really wanted to more modulation outside of just the single CV in on Peak. So I was like, let me find a wavetable module. Long story short, came across the Qubit scanned on sale at, I think it was like Perfect Circuit and just picked it up, figured why not, let's go for it. But it's so much more than I originally planned for. It's basically not even wavetable and it's really really cool and then on top of that i wanted to just add the dt and do something weird that's not normally techno and no i am nowhere near as cool as ollie the architect or b-boy tech report or that whole mod bap crew but i'm gonna try and uh yeah we'll see so i'm gonna copy this pattern i'll go here and paste this pattern here oh i just did the track whoops pattern copy pattern paste and um yeah i kind of wanted to just build the sound around scanned and then just maybe add some drums later because knowing myself I'm gonna need to add drums later I always end up doing that so let's kind of hear it so right now if I just run this clock I'm running the clock at double tempo of the DT just to kind of give me a little bit more finesse when it comes to the sounds of what's going to be triggered basically okay so no sound all right so Let's do a little bit of exploring on what SCAND is. It's SCAND synthesis. Apparently never been done before in hardware, mainly just from computer music world, which is really cool because it does a lot of really nice aliasing sounds. And I'm still trying to fully understand this thing. I watched Div Kid's video. I'll link that one down below. Oh, and I'm going to link Ollie the Architect as well as uh, ModBap and B-Boy. Check their stuff. It's really dope. But I still don't really understand it. This hammer apparently is kind of the shape towards all the modulation, I'm guessing, is what I'm hearing. And then the update rate is how quickly this moves everything around. And it gets really weird and really, like, spacey. For example, mass has something to do with the gravity of each object. So there's a bunch of wavetable-y type of sounds in a line and it kind of, well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> it, basically, there's a lot of cool, weird space terms and stuff, which I'm a fan of, which is why I also have their, um, oh man, I can't remember their other weird fractal sequencer thing that like also uses gravity and whatnot. But um, yeah, you can kind of get some really funky sounds out of this thing. So I'm going to zero that out. Dude, 
dude. And just wait till I turn the mass up. Or just do one of these. No Milky Way. Stimness, from what I can hear, kind of sounds like a, a filter. But again, these all are kind of on a weird string, and the hammer's hitting the string and pulling things tighter or dampening stuff and adding gravity and the center. Okay, you know what? We'll leave it there. We'll go to track one. Oh! Let me get my levels right. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take Oct, actually. I've been loving this oct. It just adds insanity to everything, but in the most beautiful, pleasing way. Gee, I need to run this through, through here for sure. Ooh, I know exactly what I want to do. My brain's going a million miles an hour right now. So I'm also going to take the trigger, trigger the pip slope. Pip slope is going to take the output. And we'll open up the VCA. And then what was going in Go out into here. Okay, so now where was I? We'll go into Let's go into the center. And that's just off. You can see that white. Now we're back to nothing. Ooh, more oct, please. More oct. Let's add some more. so out of hand. Also, another quick note, I've never used a module that has so much play between all the knobs. Like you turn one thing and it really affects everything. For example, the update rate pretty much changes all of the modulation that's internally routed. So hear this. An update rate is literally just, it, it sounds like it's adding a slew to everything. Just 
So the VCA is really hard to control within scan because damp, mass, and strength all turn it into like a drone and damp will like almost self-resonate. So if I turn the decay up, it just goes on forever. I really like zero. I think we need some more modulation. We'll go from two into the shape. how much the shape so this isn't the shape of the wave table it's the shape of the hammer affecting the string of wave tables that scan is scanning through go into the stiffness everything up. I actually wanted that to be... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't touch anything in right here. I can molt that. Save that. Like the three modulation sources. Save that. happening there but we'll just throw some off somewhere <laughs> okay we need to tame off a little bit <laughs> onto the yellow cables Thank you. 
random sample. How much just moving this, the shape of the hammer changes everything. I notice with the, the rate as high up as possible, the update rate or sample rate update, you can get the more percussive kind of. I need to get like an octave switcher in here. I'm afraid to touch the frequency knob. An octa just <laughs> throws a wrench into everything you're ever trying to do. Honestly, that's kind of exactly what I wanted to do this whole time was just explore Scant. I mean, it's a really fun module and I know I'm pretty late to the party thing. It came out in like 2018 or something like that, but figured I'd pick it up looking for a wavetable, easy to use oscillator and I got so much more than that. It's just so fun to explore because kind of have no idea what's going on. <laughs> and then you just throw some modulation at it. All right, F it, I'm about to end this. I'm gonna just mess with the frequency now. We'll go back to A. A, let's get some swing on here. I'll say that. swung this is and how dead on all this is let's turn on um quantization and just watch the soul get sucked out of the room kind of sounds better oops maybe maybe 50 50 there partner anyway y'all appreciate you hanging out thanks for coming by uh, yeah this was definitely a fun one um, yeah the scan that's honestly really it i just wanted to explore scan and kick it and chill hope you're doing okay and um yeah i'm excited to see you next week if you want to support the channel feel free to check out some merch sample packs whatever you want at this link down here and uh yeah you already know the drill share the love share the knowledge knowledge is power peace Thank you.